Hello and welcome to Yoga Today. My name is Sarah Klein. I'm here with my niece, Audrey Klein, and I'm so stoked to be presenting this series of classes entitled Teen Attunement. Teen Attunement. And what is attunement? Attunement is being in alignment. Attunement is being like plugged in, tapped in, turned on, tuned in to our intuition, to our highest energy. You know, we have the highest version of all our um, uh, iPhones, iPads, all that stuff. Right, Audrey? Yeah. And so we want the same for ourselves. And um, so these, these skills and these little classes that I'm about to present and practice with Audrey are ways of getting ourselves back into attunement when we fall out. And they're really quick and they're really easy. And all we have to do is show up and do them. So let's get started. So Audrey, you and I were talking earlier about things that create some anxiety and some stress and some tension. And you mentioned your extracurricular activity of diving. Yeah. What happens when you're up there on that really high diving board and there's people are watching, right? Yeah, people are watching and they're like completely silent. Um, I usually like breathe a lot and like focus on what I'm supposed to do, not like the people around me. So I usually just like blank them out and not really focus on them. Mm -hmm. And is that easy to do? I mean, sometimes it's not when there's, it's a, like a big diving board, like it's like stressful, but like when you don't think about it, then it's easier to do. Well, I have this breath that I want to teach you, and it was actually used in a study at UCLA, and it really helps just rein the mind in, and you can be doing it in a way that people don't even know you're doing it, okay? So you want to make sure you can breathe through your nose. I kind of want you to sit like I'm sitting right now in Varasana. You can put that bolster there. If that's uncomfortable, you can also just sit your butt right down on your heels. I kind of like that. And then you're going to sit up tall. And you want to make sure you can breathe in and out through your nose. So what I'd like to teach you is this four-part breath that you can do. And I really don't think anyone will even know that you're doing it. And it's a great breath to do. And what it does is train your system to just stay very steady. And it gets your mind very focused because you have to keep thinking of what your next breath is. So watch me while you do it the first couple of times, and then I'll let you just bring your gaze down and do it on your own. So the first part is you breathe in through your nose and slowly out through your nose. And now purse your lips, breathe in, and then out through relaxed mouth, nice and slow. Back in through your nose. Good, and out through your mouth. Back in through your mouth and out through your nose. That's good, try to keep your eyes open. Inhale and exhale nose, really slow. That's it. And now mouth. Relax mouth. And now nose in. That's it, relax mouth out. And back in through the mouth. And out nose. Good with your eyes. That was great. Again, from the top, in and out nose, slowly. In and out mouth, slowly. In nose, out mouth. In mouth, out nose. Now try it once on your own. Just find a spot on the floor to look at. And remember, when you lose track where you are, that's just the mind getting busy. And the slower you go, the more you'll slow the mind down. If you get lost, you just start at the beginning again. Just do a couple cycles. Try to keep your eyes really still. How was that? It's very calming. Was it calming? Yeah. Do you think you could practice that every now and then? Definitely. Mm -hmm. And that's something to do, um, you know, before you go to sleep even. Mm -hmm. I was going to say when you're driving, but you don't drive yet. So maybe when you're riding your bike um, so that 
what you do is you train yourself that when you go into that nervous state on the diving board, you just automatically go into that. Mm -hmm. So that was pretty cool. So that's called four-part breathing. Then there's times when we have a lot of energy and that breath just doesn't do it for us. So I want to teach you fists of energy. And this one is a little more, you're going to move quite a bit. So you might want to come down and sit like I'm sitting. And I want to teach you this breath where you make an O shape out of your mouth like this. And first, what we're going to do is we're going to do this breath. So bring one hand to your belly. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be blowing the breath out. And don't worry about the inhale. The inhale is going to happen. So it's going to look, watch, watch me first. It's going to look like this. <laughs> Takes tremendous core strength, which you have. You have good core strength. It'll get even stronger. If I did it in slow motion, it would look like this. But I'm just focusing on the exhale, 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 exhale. It's going to bring a lot of oxygen into your bloodstream. So you might feel a little dizzy, mm -hmm. but that'll work through you. And know that when you breathe deeply, you're getting oxygen down into the lowest part of your lungs where there's a little bit of blood. So that makes you dizzy too. But that really, that's so healthy for your lungs as well. So then... We're going to take our thumb, that's like our personality. It represents our personality, who Audrey is, her name, where she comes from, blah, blah, blah. And we're going to tuck it away safely underneath the other four fingers. Yeah? Because when the personality is like at the forefront of things, sometimes we get a little stressed. So we're going to tuck that away. We're going to bring the elbows in by our waist. And you know how to do a backstroke. Yeah? You're going to do that with that breath. So it's going to look not cool. So you don't want to do this in front of people, <laughs> right? You're going to do this in your room or you're, like, I wouldn't even do it at school. I just do it at home. So you're going to bring the elbows in. I do this at, in my bedroom and it's going to look like, <laughs> and you're going to do that like not so it looks dainty and pretty like you look, but like, like you're getting some energy out, moving some energy. So you're moving the energy from down here where we have emotions and memories and all that. And you're moving it up to channel it. And we'll just do two minutes. And you might get a little tired. You might feel some resistance. But I want you to keep going. Okay? Okay. All right? High five. Awesome. Here we go. Thumb in. Okay. It's the breath. And you go at your breath pace. Oh, and your gaze. Your gaze, your eyes are going to be closed. And you're looking upwards towards your forehead. Okay? And really move those arms. Okay? Really move them. All right. Inhale, nose. This is fists of energy. How to move that energy. Here we go. Even more from your navel. Even more, even more. Close your eyes. Keep going. Keep channeling. Draw the energy up. If you've ever been annoyed with a schoolmate, if you've ever been disappointed with a grade or something, you're going to move that energy. <laughs> really good for your circulation. Good for your lymphatic system because your lymphatic system doesn't have a pump. Like your blood has your heart. So you are the pump. Even more with those elbows. That's it, Audrey. Even stronger through your lips, from your navel. Any emotion you're feeling that's coming up, you want to move it up. Last 30 seconds, go. This will keep you healthy. It's good for immune system. Keep colds away. And again, cleans your lymphatic system. Last 10. Now right here, inhale through that mouth. Hold the elbows in. Squeeze your fists so they're tight. Breathe in through your mouth. Hold your breath. Keep your gaze upwards, inwards. Relax your face, but hold your breath till your whole spine tingles and moves. Exhale. Squeeze the fist two more times. Inhale. You're moving oxygen into all the billions of cells that make up you. Relax your shoulders. Exhale. One more time. It looks great. Inhale. Exhale. Relax your hands for a minute. Just bring your hands down. Just close your eyes. And hit your reset. Awesome. You look so calm and peaceful. How was that? Was that hard? A little bit? A little bit. 
to like keep going? Did you feel resistance at one point? Like, why am I doing this? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that resistance, that's good to notice. That's energy too. Use that and just move it up. Because haven't you had times before where you've had a strong emotion, maybe, that mm -hmm. wasn't comfortable mm -hmm. and you didn't know what to do with it? Like you couldn't think your way out of it? And, and fists of energy is a really good way to move it, yeah? Because yeah. that emotion has to go somewhere. Yeah, anxiety, stress, anger, it has to go somewhere. Jealousy, whatever it is. <laughs> okay, so those are two of my favorites. The next one we're going to do is for focus, clarity, concentration, becoming really articulate. So when we speak, being articulate is being clear with our words, being, being able to articulate what we're wanting to convey. And then it also helps with remembering what we're hearing. So let's say you're going to a lecture and you know you want to really focus and listen. This would be a good mudra to do before. So we're going to take your thumb. What does your thumb represent again? Your like personality. Yes, yes. And you're going to take your pinky finger, which is your intuitive communication. It's conscious communication. And you're going to take your middle three fingers and keep them together. Yeah, good. And then you're going to take the thumb to the pinky finger and move them as quickly as you can. Yeah. Now the hands are going to be right up here. <laughs> and your gaze is going to be right at the tip of the nose. And you're just going to be breathing slowly. And bring the elbows in. Good. And just relax your gaze right at the tip of your nose. So it might feel like your eyes are going to cross. They won't. Don't worry. So just breathe slowly through your nose. Good. So when you look at the tip of the nose, you're also stimulating this gland in your brain called your pituitary gland. Look at your nose, not me. <laughs> and this gland is so important. It's like the CEO. It's like the boss of all your glands. I wish I had known this at your age. And when your glands are balanced, your hormones are balanced, you're emotionally regulated, which is really important for teens to know. Otherwise, your hormones are just kind of going up and down at your age. And this is a good thing to learn. So meanwhile, you're just tapping those two fingers. It's connecting in with neurons in the brain that are helping you with clarity, focus, articulation, and memory. Keep those three fingers straight and together. I'm noticing on your right hand, they're not so straight. Good. Are they getting a little tense? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's normal. That's good. Breathe normally. Try to relax your face and your jaw. It's really good. Just another 30 seconds. Tap, 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 tap. Great focus. And now hold the thumb to the pinky finger. Inhale deeply through the nose. Close your eyes. Relax your shoulders. That's so good. Let the hands just rest on your knees in that same mudra. And just look inward and upward. Like you're just clearing. You're doing, giving a little reset to the brain, to the mind. Awesome. And then just bring your hands up and shake them out. How is that? It got really tense. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does. Great. Your focus was great, Audrey. So the last one, not the last because there's thousands actually. I hope we do a lot more of these in the future. I just think these four are four good ones to start with. So this last one is one. Yeah, let's stretch our legs out a little bit. Do whatever you need to do. <laughs> this last one is called Aura Charge. And you hear a lot about auras. I like to call it a circumvent force or an energy field because everything has an energy field. Plants do, rocks, everything. And so this is how to strengthen your, your circumvent force. You could do it first thing in the morning for two or three minutes. You know, like you brush your teeth, you eat, you take care of yourself. This is taking care of your energy body. And so we're gonna do that same breath. Remember that breath? <sighs> but we're gonna do it through our nose, yeah? Yeah, and then we're going to hold the arms. Don't bring them up yet. Watch. We're going to hold the arms at 60 degrees because 60 degrees is a very specific degree. The thumb is going to be pointed behind us. We're going to leave our ego behind us. Have the other four fingers together. This is the angle that really strengthens our arc line, which protects us from our negative mind. So do you ever have negative thoughts? 
Do you ever doubt yourself? Definitely. <laughs> okay. That's normal. We all have that. Sometimes is it kind of ridiculous? Like sometimes do you like really, really, you know, that can't be true? Yeah. Okay. So this actually right here, this helps strengthen the arc line, which protects us from that negative mind that can become so loud and can feel so true. Yeah. And it's there to protect us. But when it's out of balance, we believe it all the time. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do is have the arms here. The eyes are going to be closed again. And we're going to go for two minutes really strong at the navel. And you're going to imagine like this arc of light, just beautiful ray of light coming from hand to hand, from earlobe to earlobe. So you ready? So eyes are going to be closed. Thumb is behind you. Don't bend those elbows. Heart is lifted. Use that great strong navel of yours. Close your eyes. And I'll watch the timer. Here we go. T two minutes, nice and strong, powerful. <laughs> Straighten both elbows, lift the chest. That's beautiful. Use your core. That's it. Really nice and strong. Great way to protect yourself physically. Keeps your physical strength strong. Protects you from any danger in your life. Yeah? Doesn't mean you want to walk into danger and tempt it. It just means that you're strengthening your magnetic shield because you're more energetic than you are physical. You have emotions. You have memories. You have feelings. Good. Keep going. That's great, Audrey. We have one minute. Lift the heart a little more and see this radiant light around you. You're like a magnetic shield and field. So you attract to you all that you need and you repel those things that don't work for you. Heart is wide open. <laughs> stronger the breath, the harder it gets, the stronger the breath. 15 seconds. You've got this. Every morning do this. Last five. Good. Now watch. Inhale deeply. Bring the thumbs to touch. Look up at your hands. Hold the breath. Breathe in. Think of drawing energy up from the navel, from the rib cage, into the heart, into the throat. Exhale. Hold the posture. Hold the arms straight. Inhale again. Draw the energy up. Hold the posture. Exhale. Last time. Inhale. Straighten the arms. Breathe in. Pull the energy up. Think of a bulb baster, like how you suck up the juices. Draw it up. Pull it up. And then exhale. Arms come down slowly. And the hands can just rest on the knees for a minute. You can close your eyes again. And then just notice the space after you practice, how still that space can be. Excellent. You can open your eyes when you're ready. How's that? It's really tiring. <laughs> <laughs> it's really tiring. So sometimes we do the thing, well, said that we should do the things we have to do, and then we can do the things we want to do. Mm -hmm. So like we lift weights, or we work out, or we study, or we work so we can do the things we want to do. Sometimes we, we move through things that are really hard so that then we have energy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. I think you did great. I hope you use these things. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that these meditations really help you, your teens. They're short, they're quick. Set your timer for two, three minutes. Replay it. Listen to, you know, what I've said about each one. Um, we're living in this age of information where it's just becoming more and more and more. I mean, the phones and all the stuff that we get inundated with the many ways we can receive messages. And so these are great ways of just unplugging from that stuff and plugging into ourselves. Attunement. Thanks for joining us. I hope to see you tomorrow on Yoga Today. Namaste. Welcome to your online yoga studio. High quality yoga classes set in stunning natural locations right in the palm of your hand. Our entire library of yoga, Pilates, and meditation classes are available to stream on your phone, tablet, TV, or laptop. Subscribe now and get your first two weeks for free. Join yoga today and practice for life.